This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Welcome to Kansas Gateway to... He was a refined and educated gentleman from a respected family in New York. He was descended from heroes of the Revolution and the War of 1812. As a druggist and physician, he had a comfortable life, a family, a wife, and a small son. When the Civil War broke out, Dr. John Henry Moores enlisted and served in the 16th and the 118th New York Infantries. He was medically discharged in 1864 and returned to his family in practice in Plattsburgh, New York, to get on with his life, perhaps with the hope of returning to normal. But the doctor must have possessed something of the wanderlust. By all appearances, he was well established in New York and would have had a comfortable, lucrative practice. Whether the experience of war had changed him, whether he possessed the urge to move prior to the war, we cannot say. War often changes people, and as a surgeon, he had seen much. His own brother had been killed in combat in Mississippi. Whatever the reason, following the close of the Civil War, he headed to the burgeoning frontier town of Hayes, Kansas. His wife and son remained at home. We have no evidence of marital discord. Perhaps the young wife did not want to go west. Perhaps her health was an issue. We know that she died at the young age of 44. Perhaps, like so many men of his time, he sought his fortune in the West and would bring his family later. Beyond that, we only know that he came West. He hung out his shingle in Hayes as a druggist and physician. He was killed in combat, and his mortal remains were never recovered. When Major Sandy Forsyth recruited 50 fearless men to serve as civilian scouts in the 1868 Plains Indian Wars, he contracted with Dr. Moores to be the acting surgeon in the command. A fellow scout would later recall that Dr. Moores confessed that he wanted to see, quote, real wild Indian. And he did. Engaged in combat on the Arikaree in the Colorado Territory that September, the good doctor performed well and bravely as a soldier. He was next to his commanding officer when Major Forsyth heard the unmistakable thud of breaking bone. The doctor had been shot in the head and lingered insensible for days before the relief of death. Like the other scouts who perished, Dr. Moores was hastily buried on the battlefield. When the weather turned cold, a detail was sent to recover the bodies, but the doctor's grave was empty, save for a piece of shirt that was recognized as belonging to him. A headstone in his hometown bears his and his wife's names and the fact that he fell in a fight with Indians in the Colorado Territory. It does not say that he has no grave. In the grand reunion of Forsyth Scouts and 150th Beecher Island anniversary events, Dr. Moores will be portrayed by Ian Trevithan of the Sternberg Museum in Hayes. Ian has been studying the lives of the post-surgeons from the era and is excited to introduce Dr. Moores to those who may not have met him. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. Fort Wallace was the fightingest fort in the West. Fossils, Indians, soldiers, scouts, wagons, trails, pioneers, stories. Discover the story of Fort Wallace and the people who served here, the people who fought here the people who settled here. Wallace County, where the past is present. <laughs> 